Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my coworker Jenna Nelson, an application specialist here at the company. And today she'll be talking to us about copying and pasting in Global Mapper. All right, Jenna, take it away. Hey, I'm Jenna. Let's get started. Here, we have a workspace with some elevation data and orange points representing building locations. We would like to select just some of the buildings based on an attribute and copy them to a new layer. I've added elevation to these building points based on the loaded elevation layer. Let's use the search vector data button to access this information. Here, we have the query builder. I've selected the elevation attribute. We can load the values if needed. I'm double clicking elevation to add it to my query. I would like to select buildings with an elevation value under 700 meters. After clicking search, we can close this search window and see the list of points that meet this criteria. This button can be used to select all buildings from this list. We can see them then selected in the map view. Notice most of these buildings are relatively close to the river. Next, select copy from the edit menu or use the keyboard shortcut control C. You probably already know. After clicking paste, we are given options of where we would like to paste this data. There are several options here. Um, we have the original layer, the user created features layer, or an existing layer. Let's create a new layer. When we create a new layer, we're then given the option right now to name it. Okay, now we can turn off the original layer so that only the new building layer is displayed. We can also paste our data of selected buildings to a new or different workspace. Let's open a new workspace and paste the buildings. This time we will keep the name from the previous layer. It's also possible to copy and paste a whole layer. Let's go back to this workspace, turn on this shape file with parcel areas, and select all. Now we'll copy, go back to our new workspace, and paste. As you can see, Using copy and paste is a simple process that can save you time when working with your data. If you have any questions, please email us to let us know. Jenna, thank you so much for that demonstration. I know that our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit our website today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we look forward to seeing you next time.